This is literally the worst NFL rookie of all time, and today I'm playing his entire career and not stopping until the day he retires. Like, he's so bad he can barely move, dude. He's currently an undrafted free agent, which isn't a shock given the fact that he doesn't have a singular rating. Now we're gonna send to the regular season to see if any NFL team decides to sign him. And of course not, bro. No NFL front office is that dumb. So this magical wheel is going to decide which team has to sign and start Carl, and it's gonna end up being the oh my god the saints i am so freaking sorry saints fans he is now the saints starting quarterback and will remain so at least for the next seven seasons he brings the saints overall down to an 81 and for starters i'm just excited to see if he can win a single game now from here we're simming to the end of the first season and we'll continue to do so until carl actually makes the playoffs which at that point i'll play the entire game and try my absolute best to lead him to his first super bowl ring and obviously, we'll have to see if he remains loyal and stays a saint for life, or see if he ends up signing elsewhere and betraying the team who gave him a shot at his NFL dream when no one else would. Wait, how on earth did we win seven games? Bro, something's got to be up. What do you mean Andy Dalton threw for 4,000 yards? Why did Carl get benched? I'm the coach. I'm supposed to make these decisions. In his very limited time as starter, he did complete 11 out of 38 passes for 139 yards, no touchdowns, and six picks. I don't think a passer rating of 2.7 is extremely magnificent. Also added two carries for negative six yards. At least he didn't fumble. We're gonna have to figure something out fast. Now this is where you'll notice a massive problem we run into. We have an upgrade available, so we should boost Carl up to a 13 overall. We select the upgrade, and there's not enough skill points to purchase the bucket. Since it's literally impossible to upgrade a zero overall player's rating, I have to take matters into my own hands, and I am gonna upgrade him manually by one. And even though I upgraded everything, he stays at a 12 overall. Now to give Carl a fair shot at his NFL dream for each win that he gets as the starter, we get to upgrade his overall by 5 until he reaches a 75 overall. Which at that point, we'll just let Madden Fate take over and hopefully he could continue to improve on his own. In the lone game that he started, the team lost 49-7. to How's he ever gonna win a game so he can improve his overall? Which I definitely need him to start getting better fast. Because Carl does does have a list of challenges that he does have to complete before he retires. He has to win one playoff game. He has to throw for 40 touchdowns in a season at least once. He has to make it to age 30 without being forced to retire. He has to at least once finish top 10 in MVP voting and hopefully throw for 100 career touchdowns. And if Carl fails even just one of these five challenges, I have to discard all three of these mutt cards, which cost a total of over 1 million coins. That's just like me burning $1,000 into thin air just to get an artificial official serotonin release. We don't want that sort of chemical imbalance in my life. But if we do the impossible and find some way to win a Super Bowl with this heathen, that takes over and completes today's challenge for us. But you really think the 128th ranked quarterback in the league can win a Super Bowl? This might be the toughest challenge I've ever attempted. Hopefully this can be Coral one day, although I have so many questions. The Saints traded Jameis Winston and Andy Dalton for some draft picks because they want Coral as their undisputed number one. Now, it's absolutely vital that the Saints front office have a massive offseason because, as you probably can guess, we need to surround Carl with as much talent as possible. That's if we want to win a singular game in the next six seasons. I mean, the Saints signed a ton of free agents, but I don't think they gave one contract over a million dollars. Don't know if this offense is talented enough around Carl to win one game next year. Hopefully, they can add some firepower in the draft, though. That's actually not a horrible draft considering they didn't have a first-round pick. Too bad Lawrence is never gonna see the field. Does Lawrence have a wing back there? Yo, Carl got another upgrade after the preseason. Still don't have enough to purchase the bucket, though. But we'll make sure to give him what he's earned. I want to see how he did in the preseason. Oh, wow. Why is our defense allowing 94 points? Hopefully, this is not a sign of things to come. Just one single win is all I'm asking for this season. We have got to get to upgrading Carl fast. Yo! Bro, we might have actually not had the worst record in the entire league we did, but I 100% can 
consider that a dub. What do you mean the first game of the season? We won by 30. Then we got shut out in like three straight games and then we went out and beat the Panthers by four. Like what in the world? Now that's the kind of stat line I can respect. Three touchdowns, six interceptions thrown. Oh, no wonder we won. Alvin Kamara carried us. That's crazy though with a zero rated quarterback. I mean, did you really expect anything other than this? 3,300 yards passing is not shabby at all, but I think it's the 63 interceptions that hindered the offense this season. 14 touchdowns is a decent start for the 100 that we need before he retires. I mean, he's no Lamar Jackson, that's for sure. Safe to say our 60 plus interceptions thrown are gonna keep us out the MVP voting. Bro, there is literally so much that has happened in such a short amount of time. Bro, I should win coach of the year for winning two games. He actually gained five upgrades throughout the season. Ugh. And remember, Coral found a way to win two games. He's now a 22 overall. Although he hates his life so much that it sent him back down to a 16 overall for now. Wait, can we finally use these upgrades now? It's a miracle! We actually found the bucket! So hilarious enough, I think 2023 was a super successful season. At least I can be happy for Joseph. Carl and the Saints are coming next season, though. Let's spend some money this offseason so we can put the best possible team around Carl. To be fair, this is is much better than last season. Wait, what are you doing here? Every time the Saints sign a quarterback, they'll trade them for draft picks, though. Let's keep up the good offseason with a good draft. No, why would you do that, dumb front office? You have Coral. Even aside from that, it was a pretty stinky draft. I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to see how much Coral improves in year number three as a new look 26 overall. I mean, he's got some weapons, man. Like, imagine he finishes top 10 in the MVP. Honestly, I'll be content with more wins than last year. No, we went backwards. Of course, it had to be the Falcons we beat right after losing to the Commanders 59 to nothing. But I will say a lot of the losses this season were a lot closer than last year. Still had the worst offense in the league. 3,700 yards is an improvement from last year, as is the interception total. Only 45 this year. Touchdowns up a bit to not quite the 40 that we're going to end up needing in a season. But at least it increases his career total to 32. I mean, I'm honestly kind of shocked he threw for more than 50% completion percentage. Yo, he actually gained positive yards on the ground for the first time in his career. He actually had a 1,000 yard receiver too. 79 overall, 69 year old Detroit Lion Tom Brady wins NFL MVP. Like, what the heck? Don't know top 10 for Coral. I still don't quite think 45 interceptions is gonna cut it. And what a jump up to a 32 overall. And that's before his win bonus, which now brings him to a 30. I mean, at least now he's up to the 129th ranked quarterback in the NFL. I can't believe I'm happy with where things stand given the fact that this guy has got to find a way to win a playoff game and finish top 10 in the MVP to keep me from having to waste my mutt coins. They're giving out trophies to anybody but Carl. Come on, I want to make the playoffs in the next few seasons, and for that to be a possibility, we've got to add some superstar free agents. After a one-win season, we didn't sign a single soul. Carl's GM better get at least seven Hall of Famers in this upcoming draft class. Can you stop drafting QBs? We have Coral! To even things out, the Saints will also trade their number one QB pick for other young talent. And this is where things officially stand at the start of 2025. And I'm super optimistic. Like, I think Coral could possibly throw for like 40 touchdowns in a season this year or something like that. Like a playoff game? Like, let's, let's be real. I mean, as improved as he is, he's still a 36 rated QB. At least he should have Olave in this young receiver for a while. I really, really hope we can win two or three games this season. That would give a massive needed boost to Coral's overall. I want to play with the man in a playoff game. Yo, let's go! I've got to be the happiest man to ever exist on the other end of a four-win season. And for the first time in Coral's career, he can actually share the pain with three other teams. Oh my god, he actually didn't have the worst offense in the league for once. Carl Weezer! What the frick are we witnessing? Almost 4,800 yards, 35 touchdowns thrown, and he cut his interceptions down to 30. Like, that's still a lot. There's still way too many. But, like, that's a lot better than the 60-plus that he started with. And, oh, my God, for the first time ever, he got a rushing touchdown. Which this brings Carl to a total of 67 career touchdowns. For the first time, I think that 40-touchdown season is within arm's reach. And would you look at that overall, dude? I'm sitting here all ecstatic at how the season went, and Carl's over there still to but you're about to witness a career-defining moment because remember, Coral won four games.
games this year. The legend is now a 63 overall. He's came all the way from a 0 overall to the same rating as Drew Locke and Brock Purdy. Imagine somehow Coral flips the switch and ends up joining the 99 club. Why'd it have to be Coral's division rivals? Come on, front office, spend the money this offseason. I really think a good enough team around Coral and we could be looking at a playoff for two consecutive offseasons without a singular signing. At least our front office isn't wasting the number one pick anymore, although, like, that's a horrible draft. All my excitement for this season is faded. We lost Chris Olave. Not only that, Coral Weezer's going backwards in overall. Dude, you're only 24 years of age. You're supposed to be progressing. Come on, let this be the season we finally prove the doubters wrong. Let this be the season that we become the NFL Cinderella story. Oh, you're right. Playoffs, here we come. Ah, oh, that's so disappointing. I had such a good feeling. At least our offense still wasn't dead last. Carl, you have got to be kidding me. You couldn't have thrown for just one more touchdown, but even though we missed out on touchdown number 40, that gives Carl over 100 career passing touchdowns, which completes his first of fifth career challenges. But we still have so much work to do. Like, look how far off we are from a playoff game. 603-year-old Michael Thomas is actually getting 1,400 yards a season still. He's better in his 60s than what he was in his late 20s. I can't believe I didn't mention only 16 interceptions from Carl. Like, that is majestic. Keep in mind, the same guy threw 63 interceptions his first season. There's just no way, though, he finished top 10 in the MVP. There's just absolutely no way he finished top 10. Thank you. I might have actually done the doggy. And with our wins from this season, that does bring Carl to his cap of 75 overall. And from this point on, it's all about him and his organic growth as an NFL player. And I can't believe it. He's actually a top 30 rated quarterback now. He's only jumped about 100 spots since his rookie season. And keep in mind, after everything we've been through, he's only 24, dude. He probably has like 10, 15 years left of his career. Boo! Front office, do what's right this offseason and spend your money. Carl's ready to be a winner. You just need to give him a little help. Oh, yay. Another offseason where our marquee free agent signing is Terrell Triplett. Not a single soul wanted Theodore. Even though he was the number one pick, his mental health was still negatively affected by being drafted into this organization. Leave. No Alvin Kamara, no Michael Thomas, no Chris Olave. This is all on you, Carl. And he actually only has two seasons left on his contract, so it's gonna be super interesting to see if he actually betrays the only team that would give him an NFL shot, which at this point he might have to if he's serious about wanting to make the playoffs for once. At this point in Carl's career, every season is playoffs or bust. You know what? That's at least progress. We actually had a top 10 offense? Bro, Carl threw for 5,700 yards, 37 touchdowns. The interceptions did go back up, though. Almost a thousand more yards than any other season before. Why can't we throw for 40 touchdowns, though? Hold on a second. There's absolutely no way he actually did it. He went from a zero overall to leading the NFL in passing yards? It does make me think there is a chance he can finish top 10 in the MVP race. Josh Allen wins it, and it doesn't look like we made the top 10. God! Yo, and he improved on his own to a 78 overall with that morale boost that's finally positive for the first time in his career. He's up to an 81. Like, who would have ever thought we would have got here? If our front office could just sign some free agents for once. I mean, are we just not serious around here in New Orleans? I mean, he's heading into the last year of his contract. Like, if they don't spend money, he just needs to leave. You know what? I'm so tired of the Carl slander that I'm just gonna let them keep Jerry. And if that makes them move on from Carl, so be it. Let him get another opportunity with a team that's actually serious about winning. If this is Carl's final season as a Saint, can he at least end it off with a bang? No! Carl has got to get away from this toxicity ASAP. Our offense regressed big time. As did Carl. What is going on? At least he had a rushing touchdown though. Again, not even sniffing the MVP. For selfish reasons, I really hope at the end of this simulation, Carl is no longer a saint. Please let me click this and Carl not be in the lineup. Carl! Oh yay, they finally spent a combined 13 million. Thank 
God, it's just a one-year deal. Maybe Coral will come to his senses. You're literally giving Coral no talent at all around them. Leave it to the Saints to draft the bust with the second pick in the draft. We get a 78-rated safety in the second. I really hope this time it's his final season in New Orleans. Gosh dang, seven-win season again. About sums up our time here. Our offense sucks again. Why can't you ever throw for 40 touchdowns? Good job at a career low in interceptions thrown, though. Still not even a sniff of the MVP. I mean, Carl is a 78 overall, so he is slowly but surely getting better, but he's creeping up on 30 as well, so his window of opportunity to actually put up some good numbers and complete some of these challenges is starting to slowly but surely dwindle down. Please tell me he is no longer on this roster. I absolutely beg. Betray the team that gave you a shot. Let's go! I am so happy! I am actually so excited to see where the mad lad actually ended up. People are gonna actually think I rigged this. I swear to you, my editor is my witness. Coral is a Tennessee Titan. Imagine this is the guy to bring the Titans their first ever Super Bowl ring. Oh my god, that would be a perfect story. Sign him to a modest three-year deal, so he's gonna stick around for a while. Oh no, they're coming off a four-win season. And I'm not going to lie, it doesn't look like he has much talent around him here either. Maybe Tennessee can draft a little better though. I mean, it was all right. They got a 71 receiver in the six. That's solid. Please tell me season one in Tennessee is gonna be a success for Coral. We need it fast, dude. I don't want to waste my muck coins. Ah! We're better than this. And once again, he just teases me, man. You just can't get one more touchdown on the year. All I need is one top 10 finish, dude. His overall is going down too, dude. We just need him to have success so that can go up. We just need a good offseason here from the Titans. That's all. Why is nobody serious about winning? Well, Carl's gonna have a brand new rookie offensive line. Carl's gonna have to do some heavy duty carrying this season because this is just not a talented offense. I mean, I wouldn't lose out on all hope. I've seen crazier things happen. Like, I mean, this is Madden franchise. I swear to you, bro, people just aren't gonna believe me. Like, why can't you just win 10 games? Nobody's gonna believe 15 and two, man. And just like that, back up the top five offense in the league. Boom! Finally! Carl's been freaking teasing me with those 39 touchdown seasons, and we finally get a 48 touchdown year, which completes our second of five challenges. It's about freaking time. Keep in mind, he's putting up these stats when he started his career without one singular rating. Now, to be fair, his stats might have actually won him the MVP this season. Imagine the scenes he actually did it let's go oh my god bro where did this season come from we waited like 10 years we're in the year 2031 that's three out of five challenges completed now thank you coral please give me an easy opponent in the divisional round the cleveland browns they still have jok running around and i'm actually so excited to play with coral and as a little bonus he has to throw for at least 300 yards and at least four touchdowns that will unlock superstar x factor for the remaining of his career or until it inevitably goes back down to normal after one year let's start coral's first ever play off game with a bang. With we'll the Devin Singletary out of the backfield, how he ended up in Nashville, I don't know, but I'm glad he did. Well, uh, Carl's already getting sacked. Keep in mind, he's 5'10", 175 pounds, so an injury is probably gonna happen. Can't believe Traylon Burks is still Tennessee Titan in a new decade. And maybe he shouldn't be. Oh, I didn't see anybody. Somebody at the last second? Oh, let's go! Our tight end with the big catch! What a conversion that was! Ooh! Like getting our first touchdown would be huge right here. I think we're gonna have a receiver. What a throw. That was actually perfectly placed. Like, you can't tell me this quarterback used to be a zero overall. Second chance to Traylon. They got it covered. Traylon, come back to the ball. Let's go! We force-fed the 45-year-old Traylon Burke, which is good for Carl's first touchdown pass of the game. What a picture-perfect start. At least we're gonna hold the Browns to a field goal. That's a dub. Start and drive two off with a QB draw. See if Carl can get jiggy with it, and that's a resounding no. He can for sure sling that rock, though. 57 yards out of bounds. Please drop it in the bucket, drop it in the bucket, drop it in the bucket. He dropped it in the bucket. Michael Pittman ex Colt dropped it. Get off my squad. And the Browns take the lead. No! Keep in mind, guys, if we win this game, the Titans are in the AFC Championship. Like, this is a chance at a Super Bowl run for Carl in his first chance of asking him 
Maybe the uh, Super Bowl run talk should end now because I don't think we're going to make it out the divisional round. I need the defense to come up big, and they did not come up big because we're down by 10 points. All right, Carl and gang, we've got to lock in. Take the safe yards to the running back. We have not need to do that. Like, that's not what we needed to do. There's just no way this is happening. Defense did not give up a touchdown. Let's go! Nothing but lasers. Nothing but lasers. That's more like it. Oh, wow. Michael Pittman actually hung on for once. Same play to the other side because that's what they told us to do at Harvard Coaching School. Michael Pittman with another big grab. Let's just take off here, Carl. Just don't you dare fumble, you heathen. Another touchdown pass before half, and by the skin of our teeth, we'd be on pace to complete the challenge. Just pick up the first. You know we're going for this. Don't you dare score. We've got to give it to Coral. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not that. Not that. Not that. Madden, no. Not like this, bro. Not like this. What is going on? There is no way this is happening. We are literally self-exploding. I purposely down myself at the one. Hey, at least we held him to a field goal, but bros, this is not good. Nothing but dots, nothing but dots. We'll take that Traylon NCAA special. The NCAA special four verse go up. Traylon Burks, let's go! Oh my god, dude, that is huge! Not only do we get our second passing touchdown for Coral, that brings it within a six-point game. Oh gosh, they do get the ball here to start the half. We need a stop and we get one. Let's go! Our defense is literally bailing us out right now. Okay, can this time our running back not fumble? Gonna be a pick. Any pass at this point that's not a turnover, I'm okay with. Hey, Wood, please don't you let him pick it off. Why? Why am I the way I am? I make the same stupid throws every freaking game. Honestly, I really need my defense to bail me again, and they do again. There's no way. Roger does it with another pick. There's no way to rig a super sim. I just want to let you know that. Oh, my God. So open, so open. That's a strike. Let's go. It's touchdown number three, and we're an extra point away from regaining the lead. How on earth are we winning this game? Oh, no. Our defense finally broke like you knew eventually it was going to happen. At least they failed the two-point conversion. We were going to have to throw another touchdown anyway to complete the challenge. That's all right. Carl's going to lock the freaking. He's going to lock the freaking and drop absolute lasers at his tight ends drop. Oh, please lead him inside Traylon Burks, dude. Why don't teams ever learn to cover the seam? That's going to take us into the fourth quarter, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I can't believe another one comes down to the wire. Hide it in the flat. Let's go. Big boy's making the play. Oh, my God. They kind of just left two receivers wide open. Both could have got the first down. What do I do here? Actually, what do I do? Why are you so slow, Carl? They bite. Oh, my God. He's so open. Just catch the ball. Sit down on the ground. Let's go. I'm not going to lie. I throw more interceptions here than anywhere else on the field. Thanks. No mistakes. No mistakes. No mistakes. That's another one for Traylon Burks. Number three. Let's go. That is the fourth for our man Carl, though. Now we gotta go for two here and just try our best to hang on. This would be big. This would be big. We got it. Hopefully we can keep them out of field goal range so we don't have to go into overtime. I don't want another sweat. Third down and ten. Oh my gosh, they get 10 yards. There's a fourth and inches, and we get the stop. Let's go! Bro, how many interceptions have we got? I just wanted the quarterback sneak touchdown to rub it in. I'm not a good sport. I can't believe we actually got another pick. And that advances Carl's Titans into the AFC Championship game as he knocks another challenge off his list. They've got to play host to the Jags, who are 87 overall across the board. Like, does Carl even have a chance? No, we try. He tried so hard. He gave it literally everything he had. At least those dumb Jags didn't win at all. And yo, look at who won Coach of the Year. And if you haven't noticed, our man Carl made it to the age of 30 without retiring. Let's go, Carl! And don't think I forgot, Carl. You earned yourself a Superstar X Factor. In the final year of his Titans contract, they regressed back to normalcy. Big reason is they actually benched Carl, which is why I'm not surprised he left the Titans and he actually signed a Mickey Mouse one-year deal with the the Baltimore Ravens to be the backup to Lamar Jackson of all quarterbacks, and after an unsuccessful season there, decided to call it quits alongside his new best friend. If you enjoyed that one, click right here to watch me play the entire career of Tom Brady, and let me tell you, his career ended up a little bit more successful than Coral's.